I think uh, Strictly Entertainment have been developing an idea of bringing together the disparate factions, if you like, or the groups of uh, African music uh, and African culture representatives and creatives and uh, musicians in Britain. BMI are trying to extend our help and our service out to the continent of Africa through, through organisations such as Strictly Entertainment. Transparency of the music industry, like to help people understand how the industry works. And I think if that you can achieve that, it will be a great help for any musician. Oh, it's a fantastic idea, I think it's needed. Some of the organisations that have come on board to support the Love Show have included um, BASCA, PPL, PRS, PRS Foundation, the British Council, BMI, who sponsored the last one. And in terms of African um, businesses, we've had Factory 78, DJ Media, DJ Abbas, and we've had um, Coco Bar, Smade Entertainment. I don't have to play your music for you to be a big star. Don't look at me, look at yourself, invest in yourself and then you put yourself out there and you put work, effort, ethic and everything to yourself first. You can check out some of the stuff we've, we've been instrumental in leading uh, the Music Week African Territory Focus Africa report and the BPI Afro beats the next big thing. Um, you're getting lots of royalties that are being co uh, collected in the United Kingdom, paid over to uh, Nigeria, and then they're being sent back to the UK. <laughs> So just basically what this means is that Strictly Entertainment has a BMI publishing company. We are going to collect for them for the world, performing rights. Thank you very much. I wanted to kind of come to a company where I could actually get trained at. And I came to the BBC. Um, started working in marketing, working on brands such as BBC4, it's strictly entertainment music plugging African music into the West. 